What's up guys, it's your good friend Lukey and I'm back hitting you in the head with a video. Check out this putting green, absolutely epic. I gotta tell you, Monarch Dunes, strong band and trails vibes. If you want the band and experience in California and don't wanna drive, go to Monarch Dunes, it's pretty awesome. Played Twilight for $55. First hole, number one handicap, bunkers down the middle, right in the middle of the sight line. Dunes, uphill, bunker, hit a six iron into that trap, Pretty good bunker shot, not going to lie. But um, it actually wasn't good because it was a long putt. But you're going to see this long walk for me to make Bogue. But really kind of like one of the cooler courses I've played in a long time. Kind of gave me Tethro vibes also, but maybe easier, quote unquote easier. But it's a link style course that's built within a subdivision, which is pretty cool. Second hole, it goes downhill. You could kind of see that trying to rebuild my swing. So I'm playing some terrible golf, which is really hard on my feelings. Second hole is just a 200 yard hole that goes straight downhill. I didn't quite catch a ridge. So if you play this in the holes in the back, there's a ridge. You want to make it to that ridge. Third hole, par five, some junk to carry over. There's a downhill slope. I don't hit it that far. Oh my God, Lukey in the cut with a three wood is not a scary sight anymore bad lie you can kind of see the bad golf i'm playing right now just really really sloppy on a par five ended up with a bogey decent little flop gave it to there but just not really good golf this hole is really gonna embody what monarch dunes is blind tee shot that i favored to the right not by a choice but by how it turned out and it basically gave me a clear shot at the green, although you can't see it from this angle because of the dunes. And that's straight downhill. And I put it pretty close there, as you can see. But this is kind of the challenges you get at Monarch Dunes. And what I like is it gives you different approaches to different shots for different players' of skill levels. I absolutely hit my ball into a tree, pitched out, hit this shot to here. You're not going to see much of this hole. But this is a hole where you just take fairway wood and wedge into the green. I absolutely blundered that. So you won't see that. Par three. And this is one where it's like I aimed somewhere, but my aim wasn't where I thought I aimed. I don't know if anyone can ever relate to that. So just hit it really far. Once again, really interesting greens. And this just this course feels a lot like the Bandon experience. So if you don't want to go to Bandon, Oregon, or you can't afford it or whatever... You can really go to Monarch Dunes and get some of the experience just with houses around. This is some of the banded experience to me. And I actually two-putted that, so go me. That was a really whack, ugly swing that came over the top. Once again, this is a short par 4 that I made hard because I pulled a drive. It's a drive, not a drivable par 4, but you can have a 50-yard pitch. I basically did an assortment of bad shots and ended up with a bogey, which really is exhausting and not fun, even though the score could have been much worse. Par five here. This was my probably my quote unquote best played hole. You won't see it, but uh, cleared the water, then hit a monster seven wood. Probably if I had I hit a three wood well, which I'm not doing all that often anymore, uh, probably could have got that right to the front of the green. There's a massive swell. The greens here are really unique and interesting and kind of one of a kind. Got that close and actually made birdie go me. One of my best driver swings I can recall ever doing was right there. Good tempo. Oh and then once again, just bad alignment. It's a downhill shot into these greens. And then once you get on the wrong side of the hole on these this course, it was just a fight to not go down that slope. And not very good golf, but I'm not a good golfer. Oh my God, this is so bad. Hole 10, duck hook into the water. And this is just a really difficult hole. Once again, new swing, good contact with that six iron, but it was outright, didn't feel like filming the rest of it. Really tough hole. Hole 11, kind of one of my favorite type of holes, tree-lined fairways. And as you can see, I'm just really, really not having fun with golf lately. That's why not a lot of vlogs. Kind of not getting mad anymore, but not expressive. I made par from there. This is going fast, but that was good. Uh, really good gap wedge from here. This was hole high, about six feet. Missed the putt, but we moved on. The back nine par threes here are just really fun wedge shots. Really ugly swing. Really beautifully filmed, though, so shout out to that. Uh, par five, just water in play. Pete Dial style, Arnold Palmer style, Bay Hill kind of inspired. 
where water just kind of goes all around the hole and plays back. Pulled it. Once again, bogey. Just really bad golf. This is actually a par 3 into a Dooney green that you won't see. And I just lined up bad, but this is a really, really cold chip right here. Oh, that was so cold. You're the coldest. And I actually got up and down from there. Once again, hit a terrible drive that you won't see. It was actually way darker. My camera is super awesome for getting it like this. A uh, really bad three wood, but I got over that lake. This is another one of these where it's, this course is a driver course. So if you're not driving the ball well, you're going to be so bummed out on this course because you're just going to be hitting into a lot of stuff and losing balls. Hit a tree, hit a really spinny wedge, which actually hit on the back of this and then spun a little. And this green is so long and then there's so many different tiers. This is kind of a trademark of Monarch Dunes. Very interesting green complexes. 16, 17, 18 is a cool little nook on the course where you kind of can play these holes. A 310 from the white tees, par four. And oh my God, that is so sucky. I have nightmares about that. It sucks. 30 yard pitch. And then I do that and make bogey. Not a bad chip, but it's just like, it sucks, but I suck. Um, this is like a 160 yard, really dark over water. Um, just a standard shot, missed out left, once again, bogey. And then the final hole in this course, water all down your left-hand side. You have to pick a line, driver or whatever, go at it. And then I hit a sand wedge, approach in. Pretty decent. Um, yeah, I'm back, kind of. Not enjoying golf, but I'm enjoying you guys. So please subscribe and you know, hit a thumbs up on the video and go play Monarch Dunes. It's really awesome. It's a really awesome course. You'll have a lot of fun if you like golf, except for me who didn't have fun, but I enjoyed playing golf kind of.